Hey Salem Junior and welcome to this week's news show. This week we have information on the District Poetry Slam and the big revealing of next year's musical. So stay tuned and stay awesome. Hi, we're here with Miles Booth, winner of the District Poetry Slam. So Miles, how was performing at Districts? It was really fun. Um, there was just a lot of energy there and everybody was super happy so it was really fun performing there. Cool. What place did you take? Uh, Grand Slam champion, first place out of over 40 kids there from Payson, Springville, Spanish Fork, and our school. Sweet. <laughs> Why do you like performing poetry? Um, well, my dad used to be in a band and he said that during he was like writing his songs, you know, he was kind of in a dark place and getting all of his emotions out on paper really helped him out. So I kind of took from that and it really helps me. So. That's cool. Thanks, and go poetry. <laughs> My parents got divorced when I was young. I don't remember. But when I think of that, I hate the fact I feel like I was just another ember of some crazy wildfire, and then someone put it out. The water, well, the water was my mother saying, I don't love you anymore. And at that time, my childhood was screaming voices, slamming doors, no longer a wildfire. My family members were flares spread out all over the world. And things progressively got worse. The tension with my parents spread. The things I learned and things I heard were swirling like demons in my head. I had no outlet, nothing to keep my mind's body off the edge. It all depended on when everything would end. And then my mom started drinking and bringing home the bottles. And when I glanced at them like monsters, she stared at them like models. But she wanted to get better, so she moved and lived with my aunt in Illinois for about half a year. And it's taken its time to reach its peak of me because I didn't have time to grieve. Everything that happened, what I did or did not see, I didn't want to stay at home, but everywhere I went, my feelings came with me. They were like that one person that won't stop following you around. And even though you kick and scream, they'll still stand their ground because they're you. And if one day you decide to break and hurt them, you'll hurt yourself too. And that's why I didn't start a fight. That's why I didn't tell the truth. That my body was a closed casket with a dead body of decomposing happiness lying aside that never ever moved. And the worst thing was going to school. I put on a mask. I was a superhero. I made everybody laugh because I knew that I couldn't. That's right, I felt absolutely worthless. But I wanted to make everybody else happy. But in trying, I realized I couldn't make everybody's happiness lasting, and so I quit. But I didn't give up. I reunited with some old friends whose names were hope and love and trust, and when I met them, I stopped stressing. Realized my parents' divorce was not a mistake, but a blessing. My mom met my stepdad, and my dad met my stepmom, and I've got four parents and seven siblings that I absolutely love, and even though I still get sad sometimes, the fact that I'm happy after all of my trying, it's enough. Thank you. All right, so if you haven't figured it out by now, the next play we're going to be doing next year is going to be Guys and Dolls. Yay! Guys and Dolls! We're so excited! Um, but you know what that means? It's a really guy-heavy show. And I really need the guys to come out and try for out for this one. If you sing, if you like to move around, if you enjoy being the center of attention, you will love being in Guys and Dolls. So next year, try out for the school musical. Um, Let's go. Okay, guys, you remember last year with Ask Amanda, how she answered all your questions and stuff? Well, she's back now. So we have some questions that were asked last week, and now we have their answers in the new show. Bobby Wasabi asked, how do I accept myself? <laughs> Try to see the good qualities in yourself and accept for yourself for who you are, because you are awesome. A known person um, said, is it possible to get off tardies any other way than in the morning? <laughs> yes, with special permission from the administrators, but only then. Go Spartan. Also this week, we have some random facts, presented by Colin Gale and myself. Welcome to Random Facts, where we show off random and cool facts. Did you know that every 3 website has been made from AAA to ZZZ.com? Did you know that elephants are the only mammal that cannot jump? They're also terrible at hurdles. Did you know a group of frogs is called an army? Did you know that in Japan you can purchase square watermelons? Or the blockhead. Oh my gosh, I see what you did there. That concludes 
Random, random facts. facts. Hey Spartans, it's Mrs. Hutala with your weekly announcements. The first announcement is about the Salem Youth Council. The city of Salem is looking for students to help them uh, make decisions and plan things and to be on the Salem Youth Council. Um, there is an application process, so you need to pick up the application from the Salem City offices and the application is due back to them by May 13th. The next announcement is about our choir concert, which is tomorrow, Thursday, 7 p.m. at the Salem Hills High School Auditorium. If you have never attended one of our concerts, you should go. Our choirs are amazing and they put on an excellent concert. The next item for announcements is about the food drive. This week is the last week that we are taking donations for the food drive. This week's theme is breakfast items, but you can still get points if you bring any type of non-perishable food item. We will collect this, these food items in advisory on Thursday, and you will send them down to Mrs. Johnson's class. Last week's winners were first place, my class, Hutala's class, we won again. And second place, Mrs. Vandergraaff. So um, remember to bring your items Thursday to advisory and um, let's see if we can fill that food bank. The next announcement is about yearbook distribution and purchase. Yearbooks will be given out on May 25th during eighth period. The requirements to receive a yearbook on the 25th are no more than two tardies, no sloughs, no unpaid fines or fees, lunch in accounts included. Students can make up attendance deficiencies at early morning detention. If you have not purchased a yearbook and would like one, we do have extras. Please pay $25 to the finance office ASAP only cash or check. If students do not meet the requirements to receive their yearbook on the 25th, they may pick it up first thing in the morning on the last day of school, which is Friday, May 27th. Regarding uh, Lagoon, the annual field trip to Lagoon will be on Wednesday, May 18th. The cost of the ticket is $48, which breaks down to $33 for Lagoon and $15 for the bus ticket. Eligibility requirements are no more than two tardies, no sloughs, and no Fs. Students can make up attendance deficiencies at early morning detention. Buses will start loading at, on 518 at 7.30 a.m. and will depart at 8 a.m. sharp. Please be on time. We will return by 5 p.m. to the school that evening. Students will need to arrange for pickup from the school as no buses will be running. So those are your announcements for this week. Have a great week and stay Spartan strong.